alrighty, so Isaac's here with us, and I'm gonna do his four month old like review update. He is actually five months, and um, according to the doctor, he turned five months on the fifth, which is the day he was born of every month. But I counted by weeks, and he's actually 22 weeks, would, which that would be like five months and two weeks. So yeah, so. I guess we'll just go by what the doctor said, because we took him to the to his four month appointment, and at his four month appointment, he weighed. I have notes. <laughs> he weighed 16 pounds at four months and was 24 and a half inches long, and um, he was doing good. He, she's like, wow, he's a big baby, um, but he's growing normally. Um, he's not like overweight <laughs> um, so yeah and uh, everything looked great with him um, our only concerns at that appointment was um, vitamin D I didn't know if he was getting enough vitamin D because he only drinks breast milk and um, up until he was five months he was drinking out breast milk that I pumped um, and then I gave it to him like right out the bottle um, he w since he was born he would not latch so yeah we were just pumping and feeding him that way and also uh, I was concerned about his dry skin and my laptop still messed up that's why I keep zooming in and out I was concerned about his dry skin he has really dry skin he has like dry patches on his stomach so I'm pretty sure that's eczema and that he might grow out of it is what she was saying um, sometimes it's like the hormones that are lingering after pregnancy the baby still have them and um, so maybe if he will grow out of it I'm hoping that he does um, yet my sisters um, I have two sisters and they both have like really dry eczema skin and uh, my my sister's daughters have eczema uh, well one of them does she has a really bad so I don't know hopefully he'll grow out of it um, I was just you know put a little bit of hydrocortisone every once in a while when it looks really dry and like red um, and that's it but as you can see he scratches his face I don't know if you can see by his nose he has a scratch there and he has another one up here uh, especially when he's eating he like scratches it this way with his nails like and sometimes I mean I move his hand and I lather him up with um, some Alvino is what I use it for lotion is the Avino eczema is what I, I like lather him up at least three times a day so his arms feel really good now and his legs um, but his stomach and his forehead still a little dry okay and um, as for as far as clothes go he is wearing um, <laughs> right now he's wearing nine months but that'll be for his five month update he was wearing six month clothes um, like three to six months was too small at four months uh, they were like he was stretching his sleepers out um, six months onesies fit pretty good still as long as they're six months and not three to six months and um, what else he um, he sleeps pretty well he actually bed shares he been sleeping with me since um, yeah since the hospital I laid him in the bed with me at the hospital the doctors didn't tell me anything and my son bed shared with me as well and I'll have to go into detail about the bed sharing thing and let you guys know like why I choose to bed share and um, I'll do that like on a separate video um, he learned how to blow raspberries at four months so he was doing that and um, I uploaded a video of him doing that and it was the cutest thing like I couldn't get enough of it like as soon as he would do it we would just like bust out laughing because it was so cute I just loved it um, also we went to full time cloth diapering well ever so often I'll put a disposable diaper on him um, but now even out in public which was I was mainly cloth diapering just at home um, but now even out we cloth diaper and I had a concern about cloth diapering which was 
and this was after I bought cloth diapers and after I decided to cloth diaper. Um, cloth diapers are pretty thick between the legs, and I was just almost afraid that it would make him bow legged. Um, and I know like maybe that's like never happened, but uh, they're pretty thick. Like he uses the Bum Genius. Um, is that like the one size? I think they only come like in one size. I'm not sure. But he uses the Bum Genius um, diapers for bedtime, and then daytime I use like the fuzzy buns. But they were like really thick between his legs and that that was something that like while he was sleeping I was scared like his legs would come apart and he would be bow legged. <laughs> so now that he's older I feel more comfortable of like always having cloth diapers on him. And um what else? As y'all can see, like he grabs and he um for four months, like at four months he could like grab his toy. Um but like when I put it in his hand, now he can actually like reach and grab. Um, what else are you doing, little man? Mm, he still doesn't know how to sit. So I don't know if there's any four month babies that knew how to sit. I think if I remember my daughter's eleven now. I remember her sitting like at four months or like four and a half months, like by herself. So. Isaac might be running behind, but I know some babies don't sit till they're, they're like six months, so um, we'll see how that goes. And um, at four months, like almost five months, he can like jump up and down in his extra saucer. So he really enjoys that. So yeah, um, I think that's it for his four month update. I have like way more things to say about his five month update. Um, but I'd probably give it like another week, a week and a half before I do that one. And yeah. Okay guys, so that's it for his update. I'm sorry I keep looking down. My notes are everywhere. Um, but that is it. Isaac, do you want to say something? Do you want to say something? Do you want to say something? He was excited about seeing himself. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at you! Look at you! Oh my goodness, look at yourself! <laughs> look at yourself! He's looking at the keyboard. He's not even worried about himself up there. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye.